fresh water. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby. Since you awoke on the ship, your mind has been cold and empty, but something stirs. With your hands close to this body, you know nothing of why, but you find a half-smile flittering across your face. you delve into your mind, it is filled with flashes of a thousand different dead. There is something unknown and unspeakable deep within your heart. The Divine tend to keep their interventions close to the chest, though I suppose it's not impossible. You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. I don't recognize this place, but anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first, we need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. One thing, just before we go, I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Let's get going.
can't afford to stay idle.
Something the matter. There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. I understand why you ask, but memory loss is not as uncommon as you'd think. There may be other causes. Interesting. You're hardly alone. Bloodletting is quite popular of late. Though your twinge of conscience sets you apart from the brigands, monsters, and kill happy fiends of the world. Whatever you think may be compelling you, you may have greater ability to resist it than you realize. Everyone has unseemly thoughts. Being able to quieten them is what sets us apart from the beasts. We haven't gone all that far yet. What are you referring to exactly? Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. We've no solid leads right now, though. We'd best get hunting. If you discover anything that might help us, I'm all ears. I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I need to get to Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter, not something for light conversation. I must admit, you've been a surprise, and not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? Easy is often less interesting. Besides, we've plenty of reason to rely on each other already. You can't confide in just anyone about a monster in your head. Sweet of you, but don't worry. I'm sure you'll get to know me just fine by traveling together. No need for interrogations just yet. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. We get that open easily. Maybe there's another entrance. More of those wretched things.
stay back. One strike could be lethal. on. Survival isn't such a distant prospect.
should do it. Some help. Hurry. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pod. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? You'll talk. I can... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? The worm. Of course. That explains things. Somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. A pleasure. So, do you know anything about these worms? Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. 
I accept. Lead on. As he joins your side, your mind dances with thoughts of a perfect, pretty corpse. What a day. Away! Away! You're all the same. Too many of my kind died because of your spears, but not me! of irresistible desperation about you. I like it. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. Astarian's an interesting find. Let's hope any future acquaintances don't hold a blade to your throat by way of introduction. Maybe. What's going on with that room? Looks unstable somehow. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. doing is working wonders. Now a quick little pull should do the trick. Oh. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. Uh, 
a bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norse Lloyd as well. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. No use sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Most excellent! A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Quite ready for you. Charmed, I'm sure.
shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Approached the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. Yes, you feel hate, and you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Through, but its mind is impenetrable. With a last surge of defiance, it slaps your efforts away. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. both twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone! But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we... Stop! 
Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese! Now move it! You're more cunning than you look. I thought we had a fight on our hands. Time and the elements have left the plaque unreadable. Something over there. Way to the nearest library. that blood. No, never mind. That's curious.
Why do you keep a book? Everything all right out there? You sound a bit shaken, boss. Hang on while I find the key. You're not versed in magic, are you? No matter to worry the unlettered over. If you meet any elder wizards, let me know. There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. How can I help? Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. There. Didn't that paint enough of a picture? Memory loss isn't usually a symptom of seromorphosis. If it is, they've forgotten to write it down in any text I've read on the subject. Then again, our case isn't exactly usual. Perhaps whatever's causing our tadpoles to remain in stasis has also affected your mind. If seromorphosis takes place, all trace of your former self will be subsumed into the Mind Flayer's hive. So, just they'll be here, if I might forgetful. Still a win in my book. We all have those from time to time. I once wished a most impure demise on a colleague of mine who bought the last remaining copy of Etheril's Enchiridion of Enchanting Easements. It's a first edition, too. As regards to your own morbid little fantasies, I'm sure they're nothing to worry about, so long as they remain fantasies. I've heard you can't get blood from a stone, but apparently you can get a wizard from one. Gale seems... interesting. So, we've picked up a wizard who managed to get stuck in his own portal. Hardly a promising introduction. It's easy these days.
stop me yet.